Yeah. To you, my sister, friend. There's the herb. Here she comes. Where is that? There she is. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, Suddenly blogs start picking up and saying things like, holy frickin' hell, I've never seen someone lose their shit in such spectacular fashion. Click here to watch. Don't try to see it on TV. Click here to watch. And about seven days later, Ryan Seacrest in the States puts it on radio for seven minutes talking about this thing. And then explode it. And all of a sudden, we are the fastest number one, do most downloaded thing on YouTube. They've never seen anything like it. Dr. Phil wants her on the show to save her. Oprah wants the bride on the show. Tyra Branks wants the bride. Inside Edition Entertainment. And we're going, we're in real trouble. There's no bride. This is just, <laughs> we, just we just want to put out the insight, wigging out, get everybody to start talking, wig out, and hey, we're going to bring the brand in. And uh, I, I, it was so phenomenal what happened. And I'll just give you one. I'll give you one example. I'll tell you how we wrapped it up. So uh, th this went all over the world, and I, I mean, I could list, I mean, we're talking about seven minutes, eight minutes, national TV, everybody talking, because the insight was so powerful. You actually look at the, Norm Jewison waited and said it was real. If you ever look at the video, it doesn't look real, but the insight, and everybody had a story on it. So what happened? Did we seed wig out into the culture for $3,000? 14 days after we launched this video, Brittany had a meltdown, and this is what the media called it, all over the world. And in fact, I just looked at a CBC documentary. This has been covered in Australia, BBC and, BBC and CBC about viral marketing. And the beauty of it is it did wig out. And then we took $3,000, turned it into, uh, and sat down with the five top television stations in Canada and got them to bid to have the rights to have a wig out weekend. And it turned into a two-week event that we then tied into Shoppers Drug Market and online. And the message of the story is when you get an insight so powerful, it's an idea that's so magnetic, leverage the hell out of it. We leveraged it with retail, online, me mass media, we got the Salesforce excited, everybody rallied around the idea, and we got an one and a half share points ahead of the stage, which is an unbelievable amount in, in the shampoo business for a fraction of the cost. So how did you link the brand in? With the well, the brand is, we, right away we rushed wigging out, get sun silk. So the whole thing was about, you wig out, the way to stop it is with sun silk. And I love that my favorite one is, did sun silk Canada cause Brittany to wig out? So, uh, so this one here is, uh, uh, this is a new car Nissan uh, is launching. We're their a, a, a digital agency of record, and they're bringing this car out, and it's kind of a quirky, sort of looks like a bulldog, and great time to launch a car in Canada. I mean, like, you can't, you can't ask for a more stable and marketplace. And we looked at them and said, you know, this isn't the brand. The brand is the person that gets out of the car. The actor is the brand. 
What killed the PT Cruiser is mom getting out of there with a bag of groceries. What killed seven jeans is mom squeezing herself into seven jeans because people go, those were my jeans. And so what we wanted to do is say, wouldn't it be great if this car pulled up? Was, That's kind of quirky car. And the door opened. And we said the persona was, guy with the dreadlocks would get out and, and pull out his DJ kit or a cool girl would get out with a, with a snowboard. That's the, that would create the stage for the brand. So we went to the client that had, let's say they had uh, X dollars. And we said, save 70% of the money. Let me use 10%, 20% that's left over to buy some cars, and let's put the rest into some social media. In other words, let's, let's do this right. Let's be the first company anywhere in the world that launched, launched a car without a dollar of advertising. Let's mobilize the creative class. Let's get the top creative people in Canada auditioning to get one of these cars. And so we used what they call the wisdom of crowds. And we went and found 7,000 of the top people, turned into invites. They auditioned. 50 people are going to get a vehicle. Went online to find these people. Uh, created this uh, website where you can find the Twitter trail from day one, which is an amazing storyline alone. Obviously, we gave them some tools like, which cube are you? And this is what's happened. Instead of the winding road ad, this is the kind of creativity that's going on right now in Canada as the edition's finished on Friday to win a cube. By the way, when I do this, that piece of art, I don't just put it into my site, capital C site or Nissan site to win it. I share that with my social network. So every time I've done something, all my social networks see my art form. So that's the multiplier effect. They're customizing it. They're creating canvases with it. They're doing auditions. I think this is working. I, I, this is brand new from last night. No, that one's not. OK, they're doing auditions. Unless this is it. No. Well, maybe the next one. I just pulled this in yesterday. They're doing writing songs. Cube commercial, take one. Hello, nice to meet you. Judging by your shape and size, we could get along just fine. And this my dreams would come true. We would drive away in style. We would drive a million miles and see the world. What a wonderful thing would this be? Oh, yeah, yeah. There's more like you and me. So that was produced by just yeah, anything. Yeah, and I have I have a thousand maybe of these things. I have no idea what this is. So this is an audition. These are all addition tapes. There's 500 people doing this kind of work to win this. Hey, what's up? I'm Tyson. Welcome to my campus. I hope you like everything that you see here. Check out my video. Check out my YouTube. Go to my website, www.tysonplot.com. Don't forget to vote for me. And I hope you like the design I did. I tried to do something that represents me, that encompasses all that I'm into. Um, photography, sports, snowboarding, art and design, music, all those things I love. Thanks a lot. This is one of my favorite. I, mean, I have a thousand of these things being created about this brand, shared with the world. I mean, this, this is the future, I think, of marketing. And the winner was selected by popular vote. Popular vote in the judging panel. Oh, I've got to go back. I've got to get this one on. Sorry. I, I wonder where she's got the tag here. You do screen them, though, right? Uh, no. Why would we screen them? <laughs> Sign cases or some negative ones. Or some <coughs> pornographic ones. Wouldn't you screen those? Here we go. Black screen. My name is Sean. I work at the local college where I teach and do all sorts of fun stuff. You can turn that down a bit. I also sing and play in the band. The concerns of royalty. I live in Prince George, BC, along with my friends and family. It's great. 